Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and joined once again by Pterodactyl Tom. What? You will notice that the punishment for the last pay per view has not been up yet. Uh, we're going to do the two and the one because we kind of forgot about this one. But Fighter Fest is happening on Saturday. We're doing a two and one punishment video. But I'm looking forward to a good event. The match card looks fucking great. Uh, Thomas hasn't seen the film match card. A couple of the matches may even surprise him. But I, it looks like a pretty stacked card. And the best thing, the best thing for anybody wondering, is this pay per view is going out for free on bleacherreport.com. So I, if, if you want to watch wrestling and you don't want to pay for it, we've got a free pay per view. It's a good way to get in here. And considering that uh, if you're in the UK, when AEW starts, it's going to be shown on ITV4. So that's going to be free for us. <laughs> that's going to be free as well. So I, I highly recommend checking this out because it's not like you're going to have to just gee up with it after you're done if you don't want to pay for the pay per views. You're going to be able to watch AEW on ITV4. Uh, weekly shows. But with all that being said, let us get into the actual matches. So the first matchup that we've got is a triple threat tag team match where the winner will bypass the first round of the tag team tournament. Uh, this is going to be on the pre-show. Uh, it's going to be on the pre-show, this. And the competitors are SCU, The Best Friends, and Private Party. Uh, truth be told, I don't really know anything about Private Party. Neither they are. I've seen some clips, like um, when I saw that they were signed with AEW, I checked out some clips, but I don't uh, really know much about them. Yeah, well, I'm not really an indies kind of guy anywhere anyway, so I don't really know much about any of them apart from SoCal. <laughs> so who have you got in this one? SoCal? Okay. Uh, I figured you were going to be taking SoCal in this one. I, I thought that like, they need to get through to the final or something in this tournament. Hmm. Well, for me, I'm going to be taking the best friends on this one. Uh, Trent, Trent Beretta, I fucking used to love watching him, and you know what, a little advance would be good. Uh, I could see SoCal winning this, uh, but I'm going to stick with my gut and go away, the best friends here. The next match that we've got is with the third member from SoCal. This is Christopher Daniels versus Seema, and kind of a kind of a rematch, but it's just a one-on-one -on -one this time. Mm. Who have you got in this one and why? I've got Seema. You've got Seema? I, I kind of see all of the Soul Cattle winning on the same night. Mm. So, like, if one of them is the worst, it's Christopher Daniels, but uh, like, it will be an incredible match. Anyway. Uh, I'm going with the same here. I'm going with Seema, but my reasoning behind that is I just feel like it'd be the nice little push for uh, Seema. He's kind of a lesser known name. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, he's, he's a big name. He has a big name when you come to like, well, not like New Japan and shit like that. Like, we know Sima, but not as many people know Sima as Christopher Daniels, really. Yeah. So I feel like that big push for Sima in AEW. Starting with this match, because yeah. Sima's fucking incredible. The next match that we've got is a hardcore match. It's between. Hold on, let me make sure I get this right. Alex Jabele and Michael. Naka! Naka! Nakazawa! Who have you got in this one and why? I've got Nakazawa. You got Nakazawa? Just because he's fucking incredible. It's not just that. Uh, I'm taking Nakazawa <laughs> as well, but I feel like Nakazawa's gonna get a push. Right. Uh, he's gonna be a top, top mid card talent. Wait, if they have a junior heavyweight division then. Aye. Aye. Uh, I could see him being like top mid card, really. Not actual top card, just just below it in the mid card region. Uh, that's why they like, need a junior heavyweight division. Mm. Like, <gasps> like mesh companies have got, like WWE used to have, well, they kind of did, like to a five wide, live. But they're not, they're not doing nothing with that. So the next match we've got is a women's triple threat match. This is between Yuka Sakazaki, right. Riho, and Nyla Rose. Who have you got in this one and why? Riho. You take a Riho in this one? Uh, I don't really know much about these women, so I'll go with the one that I know most about. It's Riho. I feel like we're going with mostly the same, which is going to really mess us up when it comes to the forfeit. So in this one, I'm going to take Nyla Rose. Uh, to be fair, out of the three, 
I, I would have gone with Reho. Reho's fucking amazing. We saw that in the last one. Like that, that was the first time I'd ever saw her in a match. Aye. And she was fucking incredible. So I, I, I'd love to go with Reho. But Nyla Rose is a fucking dominant wrestler. She is. She's absolutely fucking dominant. And do you know what? It'd be good to see a, a, a push for Nyla. Aye. Next up, we've got the match that I'm most looking forward to. This is the four-way fatal between Hangman Adam Page, Jimmy Havoc, Jungle Boy, and my current favourite, MJF. MJF. Who have you got? I've got Adam Page. You're taking Adam Page on this one? Because he's got the, he, he's got the title match coming up at all, what is it, all in? All out. All out. And, well, you know. Uh, you think that that push? It, it, it needs the momentum going into the, going into the match. Same with Chris Jericho. Uh, well, for me, I've got a feeling that it's going to be uh, Jungle Boy taking this one. I feel like we're going to see MJF and Paige kind of get distracted because Paige has just got to be attacking MJF the whole fucking time. Right, right. Uh, I feel like Jungle Boy's got to pick up that victory and we're going to see uh, MJF versus Hangman Page uh, on a, in a one-on-one, probably at Fight for the Fallen. Right. So I... Uh, that, that's my thinking on this. Right, fair enough. So the next matchup that we've got is Cody versus Darby Allen. Who have you got on this one and why? Just, just for the sole reason, I don't know who Darby Allen is. I don't know who Darby Allen is. I, I, I'm going to go with the American name. Uh, You're going with Cody, Cody on this one? Yep. Uh, well, I'm saying Cody got his big win, like the big win in the last pay-per-view. Uh, I'm going to go with Darby Allen on this one. Uh, Not just that, I love Darby Allen's fucking face, mate. So makeup, it looks sick. Oh no, I'd, I'd say like momentum again because they've got that tag team match coming up in there. Mm. You know, Cody and Dustin. So gonna have momentum for that one. Aye. Fair enough. The next matchup that we've got is a highly anticipated one: John Moxley versus Joey Janela. Who have you got in this one and why? Just think this is John Moxley's first AEW match. That's what, that's what I'm going with John Moxley. You going with Moxley? It, it came in, destroyed Chris Jericho, destroyed fucking Kenny Omega, actually broke his nose and everything. He's got all the momentum going into this mm. and it's his first match for AEW. I don't really think they're going to make him uh, lose this match. I reckon that Joey Janela can actually work off of this, this defeat. Hmm. Joey Janela, another great competitor, but I'm going with the same here. I'm going with John Moxley. It's his first match in the company. Yep. They're not going to have him lose it. They're going to have him have a big win on his first match. Definitely. So last, but certainly not least, the match that Thomas has most been looking forward yep, to. Yeah, that's, that's definitely going to be a match in there for me. It's the Elite, the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega versus the Lucha Bros. And the Laredo Kid. Who have you got in this one and why? Which of bros and Laredo Kid just just because uh, Young Bucks have just well no long dropped the, dropped the titles back to Which of Bros at Triple A, so I reckon they're gonna carry that on and and then beat them here and then it's gonna set up a nice little like tip gun and it like AEW properly. Ooh. Well, for me, I'm taking the same. I'm taking the Lucha Bros and Laredo Kid. Uh, and my reasoning behind it is, well, I think that Kenny Omega's gonna be able to go ahead with getting this loss, right? Uh, I know he lost at the last pay-per-view. He had an incredible match, mm. but uh, I got that loss. This would be his second loss. But I feel like he's gonna get the win against Moxley. So that's my reasoning here. He doesn't need this win. I feel like it'd be good to have the Lucha Bros get this win. Uh, uh, because the Young Bucks had their big win uh, in the last one. They did. So I feel like I let, have the Lucha Bros win this one. Kenny, we all know he can work after a defeat anyway. Uh, I mean, he's, he is literally one of the best superstars in the fucking world. No, he is. So I, I feel like he'll be able to work through taking this loss. Go ahead and then beat John Moxley. So there you go, there's all of our predictions for Fighter Fest. You're looking forward to it? 
It's not WWE, so oh, gonna happen. <laughs> uh, the forfeits for this will take a little while. I've ordered it, uh, but because this is this is Tom's pick for a forfeit, yep. so I will let him explain to you what it is. So basically, uh, it's just you know one of them uh, spicy challenges. It's a little, it's a little gummy bear, but it's nine million scoville units, so it's got it's got it one. Uh, it's called uh, the world's hottest gummy bear. Yep. Uh, Low Nitro, they've even gave it a name. Low Nitro. Uh, but aye, it's been shipped from America, so that's why it's going to take so long to actually come here. Well, we're going to have, need to have like, milk, yogurt and ice cream. Yeah. Aye, it's, oh, it's, it's got to be a good one. It's got to be a good one. Definitely. Also, I've got a bit of an announcement here. Uh, Looking at the viewers and everything, it's clear to see that wrestling videos aren't as popular as the other videos on this channel. So I think it'd be a good idea to separate them. We tried it once before, yeah. but I overwhelmed myself by then. I took complete control over both channels, tried running them like normal. Yeah, and you ran yourself into the ground. I ran myself into the ground. But aye, we're starting up Brits Talk Wrestling again. Uh, all of the wrestling videos will be moving over to there after I do the recap of Fighter Fest. So there will be no more wrestling videos on this channel. Except from, I, well, I don't know if we'll be doing the forfeit on this channel. Or else we'll just be jumping straight onto that channel for the forfeits. Alright, well, we'll have to let you know. But the first video that will be up on Brits Top Wrestling will be the predictions for Extreme Rules. Yes. And I. We're looking forward to Fighter Fest. We're looking forward to uh, balancing these two different channels. Anything, uh, anything you'd like to add? Wah, wah. Uh, I. We hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to butt fuck that like button. <laughs>